Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Forge Hub video. This is Paints, and today I'll be bringing you guys another episode in our series of design talks. This episode is going to cover designing objectives within an infection game type. And as you guys know, infection is kind of my go-to game type. And over the years, I've had a decent amount of experience designing infection maps and infection game types. So hopefully I can share some of my insight on designing objectives within an infection game type. I'm basically going to explain why objectives are important in infection, what those objectives are, and also a couple examples of infection maps that have been designed extremely well around objectives. I'll be covering the two main types of infection which are free roam and linear. They may seem like completely different game types, but surprisingly these two styles of gameplay share a lot in common. So why do we need objectives on an infection map? Why can't we just create a free roam infection map? Quite simply put, you absolutely can, but there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. Um, even, even in a free roam style infection map um, that further defines the exact role of a survivor and also an infected player. Infection objectives on both free roam maps and linear maps aren't always marked with waypoints. Instead, survivors and infected players must use a certain set of tools that the forger has designed to provide them with the advantage they need to either survive the round or overrun the survivors. Things like vehicles, holdouts, weapon placement, and sight lines can take the place of the more clear-cut objectives, such as a safe haven, payload bomb, or the timed gate we're used to seeing in many linear maps. It all depends on your design choice, although the ideal infection map should have some kind of objective to promote teamwork and movement around the map as a survivor. And forgers will often combine multiple types of different objectives to achieve this. For example, placing a power weapon on the opposite side of the survivor initial spawn on a free roam map, and then providing a desirable space elsewhere to use that power weapon. You can also start to incorporate objectives for infected players as well. This is a little more difficult to do, but if you get creative enough you can manage to pull off things like dynamic routes um, that infected can unlock, or perhaps unlocking a closer spawn point. When a survivor or infected player goes for the objective, there should be certain risks that counterbalance the advantage they are trying to get. And of course, when a player avoids going for any objective, they should be punished for it. This is all part of the risk versus reward principle that you'll often hear designers refer to. And it most definitely applies to infection in more ways than one would assume. So now that we've talked about the importance of objectives and the variety of objectives we can create, let's go over a couple of examples of designs that do an excellent job of providing balanced objective-driven gameplay. Ahab, a linear infection map created in Halo Reach by High I'm Burb and Mock Nizzle, featured numerous risky weapon placements along the way to the end of the map. They have intentionally designed the map this way to provide a series of smaller objectives which are crucial to completing the main objective of making it to the safe room. Another great objective focused infection map is 8 o'clock Reminiscence. This is a free roam infection map created in Halo 4 by Remkings, and it is designed around having two separate roles as a survivor. One team will use the Warthog to patrol the streets and the entrances to the structures, while one team will use the sight lines from the elevated structures to cover the Warthog. This is a very smart design choice because the different survivor roles cover each other's weaknesses. When one or the other's weakness is exposed, it becomes very hard to survive. So you can see how both of these maps have some very well designed objectives, which become a crucial part of the metagame. That's pretty much going to wrap up this design talk. Hopefully you guys can take something from this and improve on your objective design for infection maps. This has been Paints with the Forge Hub YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time.